Hey guys, welcome to the University of Cincinnati. By the time you're watching this video, you guys have probably already committed yourself um, as freshmen to UC. So I just want to say congratulations on becoming a Bearcat. You made a great choice. Uh, this university is awesome. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some tips towards freshmen, um, kind of what I experienced throughout my years here at UC, and just kind of giving advice. Now, this video is targeted towards freshmen, but if you are an upper class student watching this, uh, feel free to go ahead and watch. I'm going to be giving some more tips that I found. I'm currently a junior right now um, at UC. I'm majoring in marketing and minoring in public relations. And I kind of chose UC for a lot of reasons. Mainly the co-ops here are insane. A very well known uh, business program. And it's also pretty close to home. My hometown is like about an hour north of campus. And it's just, uh, it's like the perfect distance away from home. It's like, if I need to see my family, I can. It's only an hour. But yeah, I'm just going to be giving some advice to you guys. So here we go. Thank you so much. All right, so I just picked up Krishna. Um, hopefully it's not too loud or windy over here. Uh, I picked a really bad spot, to be honest. I might have to change locations. But yeah, I just got Krishna. It's a local Indian restaurant. It's super, super good, super fantastic. Uh, pretty cheap, reasonably. And I mean, it's just awesome. So I got the Alu Sog, um, pretty big portion of it. Um, really good. It's like a potato pesto kind of situation with spinach. Um, pretty, pretty solid. And then you, uh, I did the student, or like not student, but like the lunch deal. So you get two pieces of non bread. That's one, by the way, like the size of my face. And then you get a huge portion of rice. I'm not going to show it because I don't want to like drop it. Uh, but you get a lot of rice. You get a lot of food. Uh, definitely worth it. But speaking of food, uh, let's get into dining halls. So what would be like the best dining hall on campus? Uh, on the Green and Center Court are definitely the best two. The only thing bad about On the Green is that uh, they don't serve breakfast, which really sucks, um, especially if you live in like Marion Spencer, Scioto, or Morgan's. Um, you have to walk all the way to Center Court, which, I mean, it's not even a far walk. I don't know what I'm saying. It's like a seven minute walk, if that. Everything is so close that you see that you don't have to worry about like a long walk or anything. But yeah, On the Green's really good. Um, they open for lunch and for dinner. And I mean, it's just super clean. It's, it's the most recent dining hall. It uh, opened, oh, when did it open? It opened a couple years ago, but when I what I experienced there, it was just super clean. The food was super good all the time. Uh, really friendly staff. It was just a really good place to eat. Um, second up that comes to mind is Center Court. Uh, now Center Court is like all around good. I mean, it's just dining hall food, so it's not gonna it's not gonna be good, but you know, it's it's fine. Now my biggest tip with um, dining halls is honestly just just to go to the dining hall. Like, you don't want to be wasting so much money on food. Um, with your Bearcat card, you get, uh, with like the unlimited meal plan, which all freshmen typically get, you get $250 put on your Bearcat card, and that can be used um, uh, on campus or off campus at s certain places that accept Bearcat card. Um, so like a big one is Target and uh, Kroger. They take, the ones close to campus take Bearcat card, and so you can actually charge, um, like if you want to get groceries at Target, you can, you can pay with your Bearcat card. Um, it also works at a lot of restaurants. Now, I'm not going to say, like, don't go out at all um, and eat at restaurants with your Bearcat card, but you really need to be mindful. Uh, my freshman year, I went out all the time, and I got Chipotle and Baby Bop all the time with my Bearcat card. Looking back, I, I really wish that I used my Bearcat card on things like uh, like snacks. Like, if I went to Target and I got some snacks for the dorm, that's, that's what I really wish I used my Bearcat card on. I, I, went, I Like, honestly, I just went to a lot of restaurants, and it was really unhealthy of me to do that, and I kind of blew through the 250 really quick. Um, so just go to the dining halls. That's my biggest tip. Uh, like it's like I know it sucks. Um, or okay, it okay. I'm making it sound like it's awful. The dining halls are good. Like low key, the dining halls are pretty good. It just sucks because it's it can be sometimes like the same food on rotation every week, and so you you kind of feel. Uh, at least I felt like I was eating the same thing every week, and it, it just wasn't really like I, I wanted something else, which is totally fine. But I would just definitely recommend with the dining halls. Uh, go to them they're there f they're there for a reason you paid for them already 
Uh, use your Bearcat card on things like Target if you need like necessities, like if you need cups, if you need uh, if you need like ping pong balls for pong, if you need uh, bro, I don't even know. Whatever you need from Target, you can use your Bearcat card and get it from there. Um, and it's just way worth. What would be my favorite restaurants on campus? I'm gonna put a list of them right here. Mr. Sushi is really, really nice because you can go to Mr. Sushi and get half price sushi if you dine in. So if you're looking to dine in with your friends, just go there. Um, but if you want like takeout sushi, I would definitely suggest Drunken Bento. It's half price takeout. So just depending on what you want to do, if you want to eat in or take it to go, you can get it half priced. Half price sushi all the time, like come on, that's just, that's just insane. So Mac Shack, it has half priced Mac on Mondays and it kind of competes with Bibby Bop because Bibby Bop does meatless Mondays and me, I'm pescatarian, so I don't really eat a lot of meat. I only eat seafood. Uh, I don't get meat anyway. So at Bibby Bop, I just go and I get a small bowl and it's like $6 um, on Mondays. And it's so like, it's just insane. But Mac Shack, Mac Shack's really, really good. They have like a pesto mac and cheese. I forget the name of it, but I haven't gone in a really long time just because I'm trying to save money right now. These restaurants are really good. Also, if you're looking for pizza, I definitely recommend uh, Adriatica's. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's like deep dish pizza, bomb. It gives like Jets pizza, if you've ever had Jets pizza. Um, just really, really good. With restaurants, you shouldn't really be eating out, to be honest. Learn how to cook, learn how to make simple meals, easy meals. But one th another thing I'll talk about is the TUC. So TUC is the Tangerman University Center. Uh, it's in like the middle of campus. That's where the bookstore is um, and like the athletic shop or whatever. Uh, they have some restaurants in there and honestly it's a great place to go if you're looking to like study or anything but uh i wouldn't recommend going i mean i i've never had a good experience there food wise um there's a chick-fil-a there's a panda express there's a qdoba and there's another restaurant that just kind of rotates out chick-fil-a is worth it from what i've heard chick-fil-a is worth it um, you can use your bearcat card there but i definitely wouldn't go to panda express or qdoba Every time I've gone there, the food's always just really dry and bland, and it just doesn't taste good. Um, if you want Panda Express, just find a friend that has a car and go get it at an actual restaurant. Now, one thing I wish I got advice on um, when I was a freshman was learning how to schedule. Scheduling is a really interesting topic, um, especially for freshmen. I mean, you're, you have so many classes to take, and there's a lot of options, and I wasn't really used to that. I went to like a private high school, and there just wasn't a lot of options for classes. And so coming here and like seeing how many classes there are, it was a little overwhelming and I was kind of scared to schedule. But now that like I'm a junior and I've scheduled my classes so many times, like honestly, I love it. It is so much fun, like just seeing what classes are offered and seeing like what you can learn and you get to pick and choose what you learn, which is the best part. Uh, one thing I wish I knew when I was a freshman, uh, do not take classes past 5 p.m. If you have the option, don't take 8 a.m.s. They're not worth it at all. You're not going to go. You're gonna wake. You're gonna think you're gonna wake up and go, but you're not. In your freshman year, you're gonna meet a lot of people, and a lot of people are gonna want to do things at night because they're gonna have classes throughout the day. And so, like past like 5 p.m., people are gonna go want to go get food. If you have like a 6 p.m. class, you can't go get dinner with your friends. You're gonna have to probably like eat dinner by yourself or eat dinner with uh, people you meet in that class. Which, I mean, it's fine. But for me, like I want to eat dinner with my friends. Also, another thing: do not take three-hour classes. I promise they are not worth it. Last semester, or not last semester, two semesters ago, I took a three hour accounting class that met once a week on Thursday night, six to nine. It was from six to nine. And it was managerial accounting. And I literally would watch Thursday night football in class on my MacBook instead of take notes. Luckily, I still got an A in the class. But yeah, don't take those classes. If you're scheduled for them now, um, either good luck or uh, drop that class. <laughs> And that's another thing. Don't be afraid to uh, drop classes. Dropping classes is totally normal and it's like totally fine. Like I personally, I haven't dropped any classes yet, but I'm pr I probably will at some point. There's a really good window for being able to uh, kind of drop and add on classes uh, where you don't have to pay a fine or like a fee. Don't commit to a class that you don't have to take. Like if it's a gen ed and you find out you really don't like the professor, you don't have to take it. No one's made. No one's making you take that class. You can drop it. Like your parents, your parents aren't around. You can do whatever you want. You can drop the class if you want. You can switch it out for a different one or a different professor. That's another thing. Uh, rate my professor is the greatest. This is not a sponsorship. I cannot tell you how many times rate my professor has saved my life in college. Uh, and I'm only a junior. 
like I'm going into my junior year and it's already saved my life. Um, I write reviews on there all the time because I think it's literally like one of the greatest websites ever created. Yeah, there's no shame in dropping classes. Okay, let's talk about jobs. If you don't need to work your freshman year, do not do it. Maybe second semester of freshman year you can do it, but I mean, your first semester of freshman year is gonna be so important and you don't wanna be stressing about working or like finding a job. You wanna be able to like go out with your friends all the time and your freshman year is a really unique experience in the way that you don't have like anyone bossing you around and you have so much free time and all of your friends are available at the same time and they're all within walking distance and you just you're never going to get anything like that again being able to just be like free and available all the time is just amazing uh so like i wouldn't suggest getting a job now if you do need to get a job, I definitely recommend the on-campus bookstore at TUC. Du Bois Bookstore is also a great option. Um, the Amazon Locker on Calhoun Street is great. Honestly, if you have the chance to work with friends, I also recommend that. Uh, I, in high school, I worked with a bunch of my friends at Piata Italian Street Food, and it was awesome. I mean, I had so much fun. So if you have the option to work with your friends, uh, definitely take that option. But I, I wouldn't do it freshman year. I would wait until sophomore year. Uh, at, for me, I waited until sophomore year and I, it was a really good decision because I had so much time freshman year to make friends and kind of uh, go out of my comfort zone and get comfortable with, with college and living on my own. Okay, so what clubs should you take? Obviously, take clubs that interest you, that you find interest in. Um, Campus Link is a, is a great way to kind of find events near you. One event, and I have it written down here, is the Student Organization Fair. It's on August 19th from 4 to 6 p.m. It's at Nippert Stadium. I went last year. There were a ton of clubs there. A ton of clubs. I swear there is a club for everything and anything. And speaking speaking of any having like any club, don't be afraid to try new things. If anything has like the slightest interest in you, I like go for it. Re like reach out. Like don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone. Go go up and meet people. Um, sign up for things. Be be active on campus. It's it's a lot of fun and that's something honestly that I didn't really do my freshman year that I wish I did. Also, if you're interested in frats or sororities, um, I definitely encourage you to go to rush events. Um, I'm not in a frat. I don't know anyone in a frat, but I, I've heard from other sources that the rush events are um, very good for, for freshmen to go to. Um, you're gonna get a lot of networking experience in. That's like the most important part about frats and sororities is just networking and socializing with people. Uh, I mean, that's like the main reason you join a frat or sorority, right? Like you want to you want to network with people. You want to meet people. I changed up where I was sitting because the wind was getting really annoying. Let's talk about relationships. Now, relationships are a really interesting topic. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend coming into college and they go to a different university, really, really think about think of to yourself, like, is is this serious and is it worth it? Because I think nine times out of ten, it's it's not worth it. And that the relationship isn't that serious. If it's not serious, break up with them before coming to school because it's gonna save you so much time. One, it's gonna save you so much time. Two, it's gonna allow you to network and meet more people. And if you if you have like this relationship, you're gonna be limiting yourself to who you can meet. It's gonna make you feel like you can't really make friends with people of the opposite gender or who have whatever gender you're attracted to. And that's not a good thing because especially in the first few months of college, that's the most important time for you to be networking and making new friends. Okay, my biggest tip with dating is honestly to just not worry about dating. If you spend a majority of your time focusing on one person, uh, you're gonna really miss out on meeting a ton of other people. And you're gonna look back in years and, and think to yourself, like why, why did I spend all this time on one person when now they're not even in my life? Now, I'm not saying like don't date at all, but don't commit yourself to just one person and don't invest too much time in the relationship because college is really weird in the way that like there's so much going on all the time and focusing all of your energy on one person and like investing yourself into a relationship that like most of the time won't even work out is just it's just not worth your time like you have so much more to do here don't be afraid to say no don't feel obligated to do anything really um it's your it's your own body it's your own choice do do what you want like it, it really isn't that deep prioritize your own health and prioritize the people that are genuine to you and, and make you feel good one of the best things about college is that you can spend you can spend your time with whoever and wherever you want whenever you want 
and you can't do that in high school really and and down the road in the future when you have a job and you have a career you can't really do that either with relationships i'm just just be careful with who you spend your time with okay let's talk about transportation now one of the best best things about uc is everything is super close together and everything is really tight you can get to one side of the campus to the other in about like 15 minutes um, just by walking i mean everything is just so accessible and especially if you bring like a longboard or something like electric longboard or like electric scooter you can get around everywhere super easy um, like i'm on my longboard right now there's also other resources you can use there's like uc shuttle and night ride is another great one um, if you live off campus uc shuttle uh, goes to a lot of the college housing. There's a bunch of spots you can go to um, and there's like places you just get on the shuttle and then it'll take you to campus. Night ride's a great one if you're going out at night to like the bars or something. Um, night ride can take you to and from places for free. Okay, so let's talk about dorms real quick. Now, when talking about like the best dorms on campus, for traditional style dorms, honestly, none of them are great, but they do the job. Um, I would say Daniels is the best one, uh, just be based off location and cleanliness. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have a lot of experience with the traditional style dorms. I didn't live in them. Um, I lived in an apartment style dorm, but from what I've seen, I think Daniels is the best one. For a junior suite, I think Marion Spencer is easily the best. I mean, I think it's the best dorm on campus, period. It is, it's right above the best dining hall on campus, which is on the green, and it's in like the best spot imaginable. It's really close to Vine Street, so if you wanna go out to the bars, you can, you can go. And it's like really close to all of the, all of like the major spots. It's, it's really close to Nibbert Stadium. It's really close to Sigma Sigma Commons. I mean, it's literally right outside, again, the dining hall is underneath Marion Spencer. Like it, it can't get better than that. For the apartment style dorms, I think Scioto is the best one. Um, just because again, location is insane. It's right next to Marion Spencer. Now all of the dorms have their pros and cons, but uh, one thing that's kind of like the talk around is about how social your dorms are. I think it just depends on the year. Uh, I lived in UPA, apartment style dorm. So already they're known to not be that social. I also lived there during during peak COVID. So I think that also played a major factor in it not being social like at all. I, I've also heard from Calhoun, uh, which is one of the traditional style dorms that's moving, that's kind of transitioning into a junior suite. And that's why it's like so busy around campus. I've heard from people that on their floor in Calhoun, it was incredibly social. Like everyone was super close friends with their floor. And then I've heard stories where like you, people don't even know who's on their floor in Calhoun. Like they're, it's just not a social floor. So it's, it's just all by chance. Um, about how social your dorm is going to be. And another thing is roommates. Um, I think roommates can really, like, they play a really big factor in making or breaking your college experience. If you have a bad roommate, then it can it can really be um, kind of, like, annoying to go through, um, go through college. Luckily for me, um, my roommate was a friend from high school that, like, I've, I've just been really good friends with my, it seems like, my whole life. So I didn't really have this problem. I think if you end up having, like, a roommate you don't really like, um, you can always contact housing services and get you a different get, get you a different room or something, but like, just if you have a roommate that you don't like, just be willing to work out your differences and understand your differences. Like it's okay to not like your roommate; it's totally normal. Just remember, communication is key, and that goes for everything in college and in life. Communication is one of the biggest things in life. There's literally a major about communication. That's how important communication is. After freshman year. I really recommend you get out of the dorms. Find some friends, go live in a house your next couple years. It is gonna, it's gonna be so much fun. Um, I'm in a house right now and it, it is honestly so fun. You have so much freedom, you save so much money, the dorms are so expensive, the meal plan is so much, so expensive. If you really wanna live on campus, I would recommend looking into being an RA. Um, from what I've heard, RAs, you get like a small salary, but you get your housing paid for, you get a meal plan paid for, and you save so much money. But yeah, if you're looking into getting a house, um, which I highly recommend you do, uh, the window for that honestly opens in October. Honestly, it, it opens in September is when you really should be looking for houses because you want to find the best houses around campus. And Clifton is, <laughs> you're going to find out Clifton is kind of scuffed. <laughs> we found our house in October and it's amazing. We went through D DB Consulting. I definitely recommend them. Again, not a sponsorship, but they're awesome. 
the house is super clean it's super super close to campus and it's affordable the maintenance is very responsive but yeah if you're looking for a house don't wait look for houses in september in october you don't want a scuffed house okay so if we're talking about like the best spots on campus kind of in this walkway uh over by scioto and morgan's and this place is beautiful. I mean, during the fall, it's the leaves all turn like at night. If you ever want to walk, get out of your dorm, go walk somewhere. Definitely recommend walking around here and just kind of relaxing, read a book. There's benches all over. For Sigma Sigma Commons, um, you have Hammock City. I think that's what it's called. I actually don't know what it's called. My friends and I always just call it Hammock City, but it's a really cool spot. Um, at night, everyone always brings their hammocks. And that's another thing. Bring your hammocks as a freshman. Buy a hammock. It's so worth it. But people set up their hammocks and they just relax and people bring speakers and just play music and you can just set up your hammocks, talk to your friends, have like a chill night. You can do homework there, you can read, you can do whatever. It is such a cool spot. Also in Sigma Sigma Commons, people like to play spike ball around here and like throw the frisbee, throw baseballs. And there's a lot of tailgating that goes on around here too during the football season. Next, if you're looking for more sporty places, I definitely recommend going on Nippert Stadium or like going to Nippert Stadium. One of the best things about being a UC student is you get access to the field whenever you want. Being able to just use like the football field whenever you want for anything is awesome. Uh, actually, the only time you can't use it is when there's actually like a game or like a like a university sports practice. You can't go on the field, but it, it'll be blocked off so you'll know. Sheikley is also great for uh, like playing soccer or playing spike ball. Gettler is awesome. You get to use the track whenever you want. My favorite place to study on campus is definitely Langsam Library. Close second would be Lindner College of Business. Both places are really quiet. Langsam and Lindner both have a Starbucks inside, so if you want like a coffee or something, you can get it. A really underrated place that I think deserves a lot more credit is the Student Wellness Section, or Section, the Student Wellness Center. This place is really cool because nobody really goes there, and so it's super quiet. You can do your homework, you can wait in between classes, uh, when you walk in, you want to go upstairs, there's going to be bean bags, you can chill in, just relax in between classes. Also, they have free stuff, so there's free necessities like deodorant, um, like toothpaste, I think. Uh, there's free candy, and there's also uh, free condoms. And then talking about the rec, um, I think the rec is really cool, but it just gets really crowded, um, especially at night and in the evenings. Everyone is there, good luck finding machine. I think the best time to go to the rec is honestly in the morning. I know it sucks getting out of bed and like going to work out, but like you're gonna save yourself so much time because the machines are actually gonna be open. But yeah, also the rec has a lot of options for, for things. There's free classes all the time. There's like free yoga classes you can do, free Pilates classes you can do. Um, there's like pickleball, there's basketball. You can go play basketball whenever you want. You can rent out free basketballs, just go play. Uh, we also have names on them, which is really funny. Um, so then you just return them back. Uh, but yeah, the rec is really cool. Um, definitely check it out. There's a rock climbing wall that's free. You just sign up and say, sign a waiver that says like, if you get hurt, it's not UC's fault. One of my friends is now super, super into rock climbing uh, because of the UC rock climbing wall. Um, so yeah, go check out the rec. There's a lot of stuff to do there. The last thing I'm gonna talk about um, best places on campus is Market on Main. I think Market on Main is very underrated and to, I literally never went as a freshman. Uh, basically it has like a bunch of microwavable foods and snacks and like basic necessities um, that you can buy with your using your Bearcat card. It's right next to the rec so if you want to go to the rec, go work out, oh shoot I forgot a protein drink, I have to go to class, go to Market on Main, go get a protein drink real quick and go to class. You have a Bearcat card with $250 on it to use whenever you want and <laughs> it's like the best time to use it so I would definitely recommend checking Market on Main out. Uh, very cool. Also work there if you need a job. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap this video up by saying that your college years are super special and especially your freshman year. Don't take it for granted. You're gonna have so much freedom. You know, don't sit around your dorm all day. Go out and do things. Go out to the football games, to the basketball games. Uh, go to the CCM plays and musicals. Those are a lot of fun. And uh, also just, just do what's best for you. Um, do what makes you feel good. And remember that your health is the most important thing. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this video. I had a lot of fun. I love being able to reflect on my past two years of school. And if you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And also uh, DM me on Instagram. 
that's another option. And if I get enough comments, I'll be, I'm very willing to make another video like this. Anyways, that's all. Thanks, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next.